Hi, my name is John, and in this video I will show you how to use the custom animations of Fancy Animations 2.0. Okay, now you can use a new class, okay, for example, I will select this element, I will find Fancy Animation Custom, and then you can see this new class, this new class um, have the modifiers start, end, from, to, invert, but with this class you can create your own animations okay i will um go to the element and the style and the css um in this is example i will use id level but you can create your own class and use this class for other um elements and use fancy animation custom to uh, use the same animation for other elements okay with the classes but for this, uh, this is a very easy example. I will use, for example, root, and then I will use a transform. Transform, for example, uh, a very, very easy transform is a scale, okay? And with the transform, you can see that scale 0, 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.9, okay? You can see that with this value, you can play with the scale but um, you need one variable to play with this value in this case if you use the class fancy animation custom you can use a variable for the uh, custom animations in this case the um, uh, class is named fancy animation scroll custom okay I will change this for the variable, name it fancy animation scroll custom, and then you can see that this work. Okay, this is this is very very cool, very very easy. You can play with the uh, modifiers, for example, fancy animation custom um, start. Okay, thirty percent of the screen. Okay, this is white. Then now. And for example, fancy animation custom and uh, this, okay. This work like the other animation, the scroll trigger animations, okay. You can see that this work, okay. For example, custom from uh, 40%, okay. You can see that this control your animation and you only use the variable okay i will add other uh, animation more advanced uh, you can play with the transform with the scale with the um, rotate and the uh, translate okay and the other for this this icon i will add fancy animation custom okay the same class I will copy this, okay, this is the um, animation, okay, and you can see that this will work, but um, I will change the scale for example translate, translate, okay, this don't work, why this don't work, because the fancy animation scroll custom variable return a value from 0 to 1, in this case transform use a for example, 1 to 0 to 100 percent, or you can use pixels. Okay, for example, I will change this for example 100. Okay, you can see this uh, translate, uh, for example, this, and you can use 200, you can use uh, pixels. Okay, this work with this these values. Okay, the translate. But you can use calc, okay, for example, this, and I will multiply the variable to, for example, to other person. Okay, you can see that this now works, okay? Remember, 0 to 1, but you can play with the other values. For example, 200, I will set, for example, okay, with pixels, okay? You can see that this work very 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 cool. I will set for example fancy animation custom 
start okay uh, for example this um, and for example this okay you can see a start and end very very cool and i can add other transforms for example translate i will copy this okay i will set this for example a uh, rotate but remember that rotate works with uh, degrees okay in this case for example 360 degrees and you can see that this work okay rotate translate and for example i will add other uh, scale okay scale and this don't need the calc okay we'll delete this okay you can see now this okay this work okay very 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 cool and you can add other uh, for example you can share use other okay for example other styles for example opacity and you can use the same variable in this case opacity is from zero to one and you only need set the variable okay you can see that now this is the opacity zero to one the rotate okay and the translate this is very 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 cool you can use this variable with different uh, styles and create cool animations with your creativity okay uh, other example is a parallax okay you can now <laughs> create a um, parallax animation for example for the background in this background you can see for example in this case at the background position you can set custom okay in this case is uh, for example uh, zero but you can change the value for the zero to 100 okay of the uh, vertical okay for example Okay, you can see fifty uh, percent, okay, zero percent, one hundred percent. Okay, this control the uh, position, okay, of the background. But you can control this with the variable. Okay, for this, you can set, for example, for this fancy animation custom. Okay, for this, and you can use the variable. For example, this. Uh, remember this um, variable okay you can copy the variable go to this and the layout uh, for the container for example background and the background you can change this but remember you need set uh, 0 to 100 okay and multiply this for 100 percent okay now you can see that is uh, okay close this now you can see that with this you have a parallax okay this is very 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 cool a parallax background okay this is a parallax background and you can invert for example fancy animation custom invert custom um, invert okay for this now you can see the okay this is the invert the animation but this work much much better from this way okay i will save and i will reload this is a bug for bricks but don't worry only reload okay fancy animation okay you can see this is a parallax and cool effect okay and cool animation and you can see that you can use the fancy animation custom class if you use the custom class you can use the fancy animation scroll custom variable okay with the custom variable 
you can play with the styles, with the CSS, create your own animation and combine uh, the animations and multiply, use the person, degrees, okay, pixels, and you can play with your creativity. And then you can use the variable in the um, elements of the Bricks Builder, for example, this, and you can use this, for example, for um, other okay fields for example for padding for the margin okay for the height for the width for example i will set this uh, the width um, for this element okay i will set the custom for example the custom uh, the width remember for example this i will copy this and the large out for the width okay this okay you can see that this works okay you can use the variable this is very very cool you can use the variable with the fields with the css and only remember use the fancy animation custom class and the modifiers start and from two Okay, this is all. <laughs> this is um, a video for the new custom animations. This is more advanced, but uh, you can play with basic CSS. Um, it's not uh, hard, okay? Um, okay, in the next video, I will show you how to use horizontal scroll with the custom animation of Fancy Animation. Um, okay, I hope this video helped you. I hope this new update uh, liked you and see you in the next video. Bye.